Hey guys, we are still at the Gamescom and here we found very interesting games. One of those games is my next guest. So, but before we start to talk about the game, please introduce yourself. So my name is Lukasz Pleśniarowicz, or Lukas. I'm the lead designer at Nano Games, the developer of Heavy Duty Challenge. All right, Heavy Duty Challenge. There could be a hint what the game is about, but for everyone who don't set the, uh, the hint, what is this game exactly about? Right, so Heavy Duty Challenge is the truck dri driving simulator in off-road. So you drive uh, off-road trucks in sports championships and you can also drive open world uh, just to have some fun. Uh, it's based on an actual sport. Uh, we have a license from a league called Europa Track Trial, which uh, gives us the right to use uh, real trucks in the game. Uh, so you actually drive trucks uh, that exist. Besides uh, re uh, really trucks, um, what is about the raceways? Are these also real and how many are there in the game at the start? Uh, when it comes to trucks, uh, so uh, you have 12 trucks in the game uh, and uh, uh, you drive them on 45 sections which are obstacle courses. Uh, uh, and uh, you also have an open level to, 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 to drive. And all these uh, sections are um, out of your imaginary or are they based on any real places? Right, so we based uh, the uh, levels on actual places that we visited to scan the terrain, take pictures, you know, and then recreate them. Uh, and there are four biomes in the game. One is based on northern Austria, on a place called Limburg. It was the pla first place that I've ever seen track trial in, so we wanted it in the game. There's one uh, in France. Uh, the, the area is called Valle Ble, it's close to Lyon, and uh, it's a place uh, where also the championship takes place. One is based on the region where I come from, in Poland. Uh, called the, like, the Jurassic Highland, because the rocks were created in the Jurassic area. And there is Iceland, which is just beautiful, and we wanted it in the game. Besides the trucks and the raceways, what elements are in this game? You showed us a little bit of gameplay, but for our viewers, um, can you upgrade your truck or how does it play? Right, yeah, you can upgrade your truck and you can reinforce it. So upgrades are for changing track parameters, get more power, get some uh, like li a lighter chassis, uh, get a better steering angle, stuff like that. And you can reinforce, which means you will be protected from damage because there's a damage system in the <laughs> game too. So, you know, if you damage your gearbox, some gears may malfunction. If you damage your engine, uh, it will turn off. Uh, suddenly and you will have to restart the truck and so on so uh, so between the damage and, and the upgrades you need to think about uh, what's the best for your play style what you want for your truck in these trials you normally compete against other drivers what is it in heavy duty challenge do you uh, have a multiplayer or how how does it go in your game so the game is uh, single player in general but we also have online leaderboards so Uh, every time you finish a section, every time you finish a bigger level, we call them events, uh, or you finish a whole championship in the game, uh, this uh, goes on a leaderboard and you can compare yourself to friends or strangers and you can just show them that you're a better driver. You know? <laughs> Sharing screenshots, challenging yeah, 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 them. Exactly. Um, I'm wondering, oh, you said in the, before we talked uh, in, for the interview that you are releasing that game for the current gen, meaning Xbox uh, Series, PlayStation 5 and PC. I'm wondering how compatible is the PC version in, when it comes to inputs? Um, are you able to, to put a controller in and uh, drive with that or able, uh, also able to put the real wheel in or how does it work? Yeah, we support uh, wheel controllers, we support gamepads. So, well, there are players who also like to play on the keyboard and mouse, so we, we <laughs> support that too, which is not very surprising on the PC. Uh, but, uh, but yes, uh, gamepads and, and wheel controllers are supported. What, do you have already any plans for the future, um, speaking of DLCs for the game? Are there new uh, sections which you can raise, maybe new countries you can uh, explore? What are the plans, or do you have any plans at the moment? 
Uh, yes, well, we, we haven't announced anything uh, exactly, but uh, yes, we want to keep developing the game after release, meaning we will add more content, more features, and of course support the game uh, when it comes to anything uh, that needs to be changed or, or improved. Uh, we'll just keep working on it and uh, we'll see what kind of features uh, people really want in the future and maybe go in that direction. The list of ideas is long. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely good. One thing in this game is as well, you don't uh, need to be forced as player to drive uh, every section or at least one section. There's also a free play mode. How does that work? Right, so, uh, well, uh, you have an, like an open world, basically, a level that uh, you can just roam and uh, just see what's there. Our level designers really hid a lot of like Easter eggs and jokes there, so uh, if you pay attention, you'll find those. Uh, but if you want, you can also use this level to compete with your friends, because there are still gates that you need to find in it and uh, go through them to get the points and uh, later uh, use them to upgrade the track or buy a new track and, and so on. Okay, cool. Um, how long did it took to create the game? Does it take months, years? I don't know. Can you give us an insight? Well, it does take years. Uh, honestly, I think the first time we talked to the Europa Track Trial people was like over six years ago. And uh, everybody was a little surprised. I mean, for us, it was a surpri the surprise was, hey, look at this great sport. Maybe we could make a game about it. So we, we called them and they said, yeah, please come. But they were... You know, skeptical, skeptical in, the, in the sense that these are people from the automotive uh, industry, you know, people who know about tracks, not necessarily video games. But we started talking to them and they were so helpful, you know. Uh, to, to create a track, you need the looks, the sounds, the parameters. The game is realistic, physics-based, so the parameters have to be authentic. They gave us all of that, and we met with the teams, we met with the organizers of the whole championships. They, they, were, they were amazing. And, you know, thanks to the license we have with them, we could start really working on an authentic simulation game with real trucks, with real, real locations, and so on. And then it took a couple of years, and <laughs> here we are. We are releasing on the 14th of September this year uh, on uh, PC and consoles, so... Uh, you know, and already I'm plans. Really happy. <laughs> already plans for the first DLC in the pipeline. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we, we in, know when it comes to release date. I mean, <laughs> oh well, we we haven't announced anything yet, but uh, but we already know what we want to do. <laughs> All right, you won't tell us, guys. I really tried it. Thanks for your time. Thanks for having us, and I'm pressing my thumbs uh, that it would be successful. Thank you very much. <laughs>